Hey, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. Got a letter from Seamus, a 32-year-old Irish guy living in New York for the past 13 years. Dear Scott, I visited Thailand in 2007 for a month. I was to return this month, but due to an accident in which I tore my patellar tendon off my knee and received surgery, I start receiving physical therapy tomorrow. Anyway, I watch most of your videos on YouTube. You know your stuff. You're as real as you're going to get. Uh, I have a ways to go before I retire, but Thailand is in my future. Anyway, questions. Well, if all goes well with my leg, I might plan a trip in the next six months. I may still need physical therapy, and I was wondering about the cost of physical therapy treatment in general, or medical, or should I get some insurance here first? How does it work? Are there many clinics for Ferran? Well, here's the deal. I mean, I had a, what was that called? Plantar uh, fasciitis, which is a condition in your foot where uh, I think the way that it's described is uh, the bottom, there's a tendon in your foot and what happens is it shortens, your calf shortens or whatever and then you get these uh, pains in your foot, you get a cramp in your foot and it just, it's miserable. Uh, and I went to physical therapy for that. Also I have five fractures in my left hand and I went uh, and had wax treatment where I put my hand in hot wax. Um, and then you take it out and put it in a plastic bag and uh, let it cool and then I had all kinds of um, what's it called uh, like electro uh, uh, what is it the uh, it's like an elect they put a little electric current to certain parts of your body uh, to stimulate the muscles and to help them regrow or whatever and uh, I'll tell you I never used insurance uh, I always just paid for it myself, and, and it ranged anywhere from uh, just to get the like a, a hot pack and a massage on my foot might be 300 baht, um, and then when I had the wax and everything else, it might cost me up to about 900 baht, which was 30 bucks. So anywhere from 10 to 30 dollars. It really depends on exactly what you're having done. You're going to need to go see a doctor at least once, and then uh, then they'll say, okay, you can go to the physical therapist. Here's what I prescribe. You can tell them what happened before. And generally, the, the cost of treatment is uh, quite a bit less than what it would be in the United States. Uh, I don't think you're going to need insurance. I, I don't think it's going to help uh, here for, for what you want. Um, the, the cost is pretty minimal. And I used to go every day sometimes because I, I was exercising. I was training in the boxing gym with the guys and, and, and I was exercising regularly and I was in pain all the time. And I still am in pain, but uh, my plantar fasciitis is gone. I don't have that anymore. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I would definitely take part in, in physical therapy here. And uh, I will put a couple of... Uh, well, I'll just tell you, uh, you can go to uh, several different hospitals. There's Bumungrad Hospital. There's Waitani, which uh, I used to go to. There's Bangkok General. And there are a handful of them, uh, more than a handful of them, that can take care of what you need to have done. They speak English. and uh, He goes on to say, my Thai is limited, but I am trying to pick up lessons. How can I get a Thai SIM card with credit on it? Well, you just come here and, and buy it. Um, so can I have everything set on my phone before I leave the States? Uh, you may be able to, but uh, it's not a big deal if you just come here and you can get it at the airport. Although what I would do is I would just go to 7-Eleven, get the SIM card, put a little money on it, call up uh, AIS or True or whichever one you want to use. And you say, I want uh, to be able to use the Internet. I want and they'll tell you the packages that you can have and then you just can pay as you go they'll deduct it from whatever your balance is and then you can get internet for as long as you uh, as long as you want to pay for it uh, 
Can you recommend anywhere I stay in Bangkok? Last time I stayed in the D&D &D, Khao San Road. I am a little older now, just somewhere there are Farang, but not all backpackers. I've heard you mention training on YouTube, Muay Thai. Are there any Muay Thai gyms Farang can go without paying a huge amount of money? Well, again, uh, you know, as far as where you want to stay, man, that's like a... That's like, how long is a piece of string? I mean, you can stay in Sukhumvit, you can stay Kaosan, you can stay down by Victory Monument. There's uh, there's all kinds of places you can stay. It's just about what your budget is, what you want. Uh, when it comes to the Muay Thai training, uh, I know of quite a few gyms that you could go to. But in general, you're going to pay somewhere around 10,000 baht for a month. And that's training uh, at least one or two times a day, uh, six days a week. And then if you want to stay at the gym, uh, there's gyms where you can stay at the gym. And some of them are comfortable. Some of them are not so comfortable. But that's going to run you probably another 10,000 to 12,000 watt a month. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Until later, chok di la chok en mai.